357 Magnum versus 40 Smith & Wesson. And today what I have is Fiocchi ammunition. I've had a lot of requests to test Fiocchi in 357 Magnum, and they have a lot of different uh, versions of this. Uh, but what I went with was the 148 grain jacketed hollow point. This is our basic pistol and revolver line. And with our 40 Smith & Wesson, we have a 165 grain jacketed hollow point. This list on the box, 1100 feet per second for our 40 Smith & Wesson. For our 357 Magnum, it does not list on the box and Fiocchi's website also does not list the, the velocity, but everywhere I looked, that sold this ammunition their websites listed 13 10 feet per second so that sounds about right for a 148 grain now whether or not we'll get that or not we'll have to find out but we're going to go through the uh, chronograph see what kind of velocity and accuracy we get at the same time then we're going to do our clear ballistics test here and we have four layers of denim followed by about three inches of clear ballistics to represent our pectoral muscle, followed by a quarter inch medium density fiber board and into more clear ballistics. This represents our ribs or sternum. And typically if the bullets expand exactly the same, they don't tumble all of that. This typically takes away about two inches of clear ballistics penetration. I know a lot of people like to complain and say a lot of times it's different. And a lot of times it is because the bullets do weird things when they hit something. They sometimes arc and it changes it a little bit, but stuff like HST and stuff like that, nine millimeter where they go straight through, they expand the same. We get about two inches resistance with this MDF. And then we're going to shoot from 25 yards just to kind of see what kind of practical accuracy I can do with these rounds. So let's get started with this test. By the way, I'm using my 4-inch Smith & Wesson 686 for the 357 and my 5-inch M&P 40 for the 40 because they're essentially the same amount of bullet travel in those guns. Or barrel, barrel travel, bullet travel, etc. So I'm about 5 yards from the target, 4 yards from the chronograph. First up, we have our 40 Smith & Wesson. I believe it said 1150 feet per second, so, or 1100. Let's see how close we get to that. 1095. 1088. 1089. 1082. 1086. My point of impact is a little bit low and to the left, but our velocity is very consistent so 357 let's see how close we get the 1310 with this 1204 1183 11 below rated velocity as far as what I believe rated velocity is, uh, but very consistent velocity like the 40 and relatively accurate. So at least that's something. Let's hit our ballistic shell block and see what we get. All right, first up we got our 40 Smith & Wesson. We're gonna go through our four layers of denim, three inches of clear ballistics, quarter inch medium density fiber board, and some more clear ballistics. So let's see what we get with this 40. All right, so that is extreme over penetration. We're at 27 and three quarters total penetration. So let's pull out this MDF here. And yeah, see, we're not getting any expansion in that first three inches, obviously, because we didn't get any in the whole block there. So let's hit it with our plain clear ballistics and see what we get. All right, no MDF. Let's see how this 40 does. And I pretty much expected that <laughs> total pass through. I'm not going to shoot it again because, you know, judging from the MDF, we're going to get the same thing and it completely passed through all the way out the back of this block. So let's try our 357, see what we get. 
All right, 357 Magnum through our denim, three inches of clear ballistics, quarter inch MDF into more clear ballistics. See what this will do. All right, so on that first three inches, it does appear we started to get it expansion and an okay amount of damage but our damage path actually goes to 21 and a quarter so it's a little bit over penetrating but it looks like we do have some expansion so let's go through uh, this without our mdf and see how it does all right no mdf let's see how this will do So we got a good amount of damage. It does appear we also got expansion. But we're at 24 and a half inches total damage pass. Path. It's all about a three inch difference here for our damage paths. But we did get expansion. So what I'm seeing from this is I probably would not use this as a personal defense round, but we do see some controlled expansion, which would probably do pretty well if you were hunting with this round out of a handgun. So let's shoot from 25 yards and we'll see how these rounds compare for accuracy. All right, 25 yards from target. See how our 40 does. Let's pull in a little bit to the left. 357 mag. All right. Interesting. One shot a lot higher than my point of aim. That's interesting. It could just be me. Uh, but considering these rounds are not getting an expansion and they're not, I mean, they're getting controlled expansion with the 357 at least. I'm going to change my idea what I think these might be good for. I don't, I don't think they're good for personal defense, but maybe for hunting. So if that's the case, I'm going to back, back up to 50 yards and see what I can do with these at 50 yards. All right, 50 yards from the target. Now, another thing about these rounds, at least with the 357, there's also a ton of flash. That's another thing that I would say I would not use them for personal defense, but all right, 50 yards with our 40. This was shooting really left, so I'm just gonna have to aim maybe a little bit right. Not the best I've ever done. And they didn't hit that uh, steel very hard. <laughs> so 357 Magnum. So I'll be honest, if I was hunting, I haven't deer hunted in a really long time, but if I was, I would probably go single action and just try to focus on making a shot. So I'll just go center mass here, try to hit this. See, I think these things are shooting really, really, really high. Let me go for a headshot. Yeah, they're shooting very high. Let me aim about a foot below the head area. Yeah, very high. So overall, my assessment of these rounds is <laughs> You could do a lot better. Now, I paid like 40 bucks for 50 rounds, and generally you get what you pay for. These are not proven rounds. They're just basic hollow points, and we're seeing basic hollow points.
point performance and also some really weird accuracy issues here that I don't normally see with a little bit better rounds so take it for what it is they might be okay in your gun they might be okay with the 357s and a rifle and they'll probably do good hunting but uh yeah I, I'm gonna pass on using this ammo for my own personal defense needs so that's what you get today so as always comment share and like and thanks for watching Thank you.